Okay, I have mixed my epoxy. I have a lot here because I have a few cups that I'm doing. But I have this little medicine cup here that I'm going to fill with epoxy. I'm going to just put just a little bit, um, maybe a milliliter in there. Um, yeah, not much because it's not going to take much to do the waves. So that's about all I'm going to put in there. Um, and then I'm going to take the acrylic paint that I got at Walmart. Any acrylic paint will do. Um, I'm going to put just a few drops, maybe one more like that. And then I'm going to take the mixative, the snow. Can you see that? Ugh, I'm trying to get it to focus. There we go. I'm sure a lot of you already have that, but I'm going to put that in there too. And then I'm going to mix this and I'm going to let it sit. Okay. So I just put a few drops in there. Like that. I'm going to take a popsicle stick and I'm going to mix it. And I... I know I'm probably going against everybody's deal, but I like it kind of thick. I know they say that it won't dry, but I haven't had any problems with my cups so far. But, um, whoa. Um, but I like it kind of thick, kind of runny, like that. Um, I might put just a tad bit more epoxy, but once I'm done epoxying the cup, but I'm going to let that sit because that's how you get really good thick waves that move and can move with the alcohol ink. So I'm going to set that aside. Okay. I'm going to get my turner spinning here and I'm going to put just little swipes just to kind of get it wet. This is just my way so it doesn't spill all over the place. I'm sure those of you that are watching this probably already have your own little way. If you are brand new to making cups, then this is my way. And this is a way you could do it. Um, I just need, to, you can definitely feel when it's getting wet and when it's not wet, you can feel that roughness of the glitter. Um, and this turner is the best one for filming at, but it moves around a lot. And it is slow. But it's not bad. It's not a bad turner. It's just once you get it going and then it's turning, it's fine. But if you're trying to do stuff like this, see it moves around. And I've put these non-slip things on here. It doesn't work. So I have glittered it. I painted it, glittered it. And then what I did not show in the video is I put a coat of poly polycrylic by Minwax. Clear gloss polycrylic. And I have tried the spray. I have tried the sealers. I have tried all of that. And I get movement with my glitter every single time. And as you can see, right now, there is no movement. I have not tried fast, quick, quick set or whatever it's called. I have not tried that. I, I have some on order. I was going to try it and see um, what that's going to be like. But for now, the polycrylic works just fine. For me, it works fine. But I do, because it's a water-based sealer, I do make sure I leave it overnight. I just do it before I go to bed, leave it at night, and then when I get up in the morning, take my son to school, and then I come to work. So, and it works just fine. I got some white on my glove, and now it's transferring, but it should be fine. But um, make sure you get your ends right here and get down into this underneath. 
So for purposes of this video, I'm doing this with my left hand and I am not left-handed, nor am I ambidextrous. <laughs> so I seem to probably be going really slow, but it's because I don't, I don't really know how to do this with my left hand. But if I was over here doing this with my right hand, y'all wouldn't be able to see anything. So uh, I'm trying to accommodate. So trying to make sure I get my edge here. This thing goes really slow, so I sometimes you have to kind of like move it along. But it's really good for filming because it goes slow. You can watch and see everything that I'm doing. So this still feels so. Okay, and I'm going to let this spin for like a minute or two. I have a couple of cups that I want to put some epoxy on. So I'm going to let this spin and then I'm going to come back and then we'll start our alcohol inks and I'll show you how that goes. Okay, so I'm going to start with the Parisian blue. And I'm going to drop that right here. Now we're going to gradually get lighter. And my thought process, this is just kind of abstract view of the ocean, right? You've got the, your deep, dark ocean here. Then you've got your lighter, you know, where the depth goes, comes up a bit. And then this is like your shoreline here. So I'm going to drop this in here. And I'm not going to do too much just to kind of coat. And so I'm spinning, spinning this way. So I'm kind of getting it on the way so it won't, that makes sense see what I'm doing here <laughs> so or I can do it this way and it will spin that way so I'm just gonna get as much to fill to see if I get there we go and so and then I'll just check a couple of times to see and then what I'm gonna do is come in with like a darker I mean a little bit lighter color we're just going to start kind of blending it down until we get to our shoreline here. So then I have, I want to make sure you shake up your alcohol inks. Then we have Lake Blue. I never know how to say this name. I always get it wrong. Rhea, Rhea Breeze or whatever. So I started all of my cup making during COVID. So you see how the dark and then this is just a little bit lighter and you can see kind of how it fades. And that's what I'm looking for. So I'm kind of like gradually fading my alcohol inks into here, right? But I'm going to use a little bit more of this because the next color is going to be teal and I don't want too much of that. But I don't want too much of that dark because then you see it covers up but when you get it out in the sunlight, once you get it under epoxy, it really does brighten up a lot. So, and then I'll just check, see how this spins around and where I've got it. Maybe one or two there. Okay, and then this one is pool. And this is really tealy, okay? Um, so I'm just going to do a little bit right here at this line going into the lighter blue. So like I said, I started this during COVID, right? Because I had watched a thousand hours of videos. I found Little Lee and Rose uh, like a year ago. I found Jessica Flynn just recently and I found... Uh, Sandy's Organized Chaos. Oh no, I got a piece of blue up in here. Well, we'll have to cover that with some white. And so, um, there is no mask to be found. I do have like a small, one of those white masks that kind of point out like that, you know, that I will wear, but I'm not doing it in this video because I want to be able to, to speak to you. And I am in a huge room. It seems small here. 
but I'm in a big room and I have two windows. So I have pretty good ventilation right now. And normally I do wear a mask, but, but I can't find a respirator and I'm not allowed to buy one because I'm not essential. So <laughs> it's kind of hard right now. So I try, I do my cups like twice a day. I try to stay out of here as much as possible. So this right here is my next color. And this is what I'm going to put right here in this lighter blue part. Now this is my own creation. And what I was bringing to show you that I took a Sharpie like this and I cut it open. I broke this part and then I just took the piece out and I cut it with a razor and shoved it in here. And I don't know that you can see the pieces in there. Maybe not. Maybe you can there was one right there. But anyways, I shoved the pieces in there. You can hear them rattling. And this really is a really cool color because it lightens up. It's it's just a light, light, light blue. And that's exactly what I wanted. And I had bought this lake blue thinking that it would be good for here. And that's where that is. So, you know, that's how that goes. <laughs> so... I might put a little bit more teal right here, right along this line, maybe to mix it a bit, but that teal will act with that white really good. So you, so I try not to use too much. Okay. So, but this, like I said, is, whoa, is my own. Now see, I did it again. Whee! Okay. Now we got to fix this. <laughs> I gotta fix this. Let's get this out of here. Okay, let's get some of this. Okay, I think we're no, we got a little bit more here. Okay, I think we're okay now. I think, but gotta be careful. <laughs> so. Okay, I think we're good. Now, I'm going to take our white here, and it's thickened up pretty good. And I know you're probably thinking, oh my god, it's so thick. But, honestly, this is how I get the best, this is how I get the best results. Okay? So, I'm going to take it, and I'm just going to... Drizzle it along here. Like this, and it will kind of move with you. We're gonna heat this up, okay? We're gonna heat this up, so don't worry. It's a little thick now, but we're gonna heat it up and get it going. I was doing other cups while I was waiting to film this for you guys. So it might have set up just a little bit more than I wanted, but it's not. I mean, we can, we're going to heat it up and it'll start moving and, and then we'll go from there. Now I focus my waves, sorry, like this on these, this down here. Because you don't get many waves out into the, the depths of the ocean, right? So I might just do like a little string here or there like that further out. But I'm not going to do much because like, you know, when you're looking at the ocean, you don't get a lot of those white uh, caps further out. So I just kind of slowly bring my thicker waves down into the this part here. I hope all that makes sense. But like everybody always says in these videos, it's your creation and you can do what you want. But you can. I am looking at doing a like a Miami sunset purpley pinky tealy sunset beachy cup that I want to do so bad and I am going to do that next. That's going to be my big thing. Now I want to get stuff for down here in the uh, 
because this is where you're definitely going to get most of your motion and the when you're looking at the beach okay we're going to save this for afterwards we're going to put a little bit on there okay so this is probably going to be really loud and i apologize for that but i'm going to get this heated up so we can get some movement Okay, sorry about that. Okay, now I'm gonna take my Tim Holtz little blower thing and I'm gonna blow some of this now that I've heated it up. We can get some good directional, intentional Sorry, I'm going to have to get in those light because and it is squeaky because I filled it with epoxy because I scraped it on here and I did not realize that it dried. So <laughs> I had to break part of it open to get it to come out. Okay. So now that we have that, now I'm going to stop this turner real quick and I'm going to pull this off and I will try to keep y'all in shot, but I'm going to tilt this and hopefully you can see it moving. And then I'll tilt it back. And tilt it up. Okay. And then carefully stick this back on here and start that up all right oh, thing okay i'm gonna get some more heat on here loosen that up a bit in spots And that's how you're going to get those, you know, really nice wave that crashing look, you know. Okay, that's probably enough. And you can just lift it up like this. Kind of tilt it down if you want just be careful if you have low profile this thing's kind of low it doesn't have very it's not very tall so if you um tilt it down too much i'm gonna just turn this off real quick and lift this up so you can see it moving right there so it's kind of coming back Turn that back on. 
And then at this point, at some point, <laughs> you have to tell yourself to stop messing with it because I have a tendency to mess a little too much. But I am going to maybe put a few more things here. You can also take a popsicle stick and just kind of, you know, move things. This is the one I was wanting. Like that. And just kind of, but I would use different ones for the different sections because you don't want to be up, playing up here and then come down here and then you have blue in your uh, mix down here. But that's still going to move and we can still put some heat on there. I'm going to take very lightly and put a couple up here. I think there was one really dark spot. I think maybe I got it. No, right here. A couple of little ones like that. And that will continue to move. But you see how you have this soft edge here? And you can just take a few more. This is where you start to play a little too much, which is what I do. But... I get obsessed with trying to make it look like the ocean exactly and the ocean is organic like I said before and it can be you know whatever it is probably hit this with just a little more heat and maybe hold it up hold it down and then we'll probably be done All right, let's hit it with a little more heat. Loosen these little thick pieces up a little bit right there. And I think that's it. I think I might have hit my. But we've got some good lacing right here. I'm going to turn this off a second and pull this off again. And just kind of let it move like that and then flip it and move it that way I do kind of turn it just to kind of keep it in motion and then put it back okay now, I like where we're standing here. I like the focus 
down here at the beach. You can really see, you know, the progression of the waves. Now, let's see another. Okay. Now I'm going to take my Norma Jean from Peach Olive Glitter, okay? And I'm gonna take this popsicle stick here like this, and I'm gonna put a tiny bit like that, and I'm just gonna sprinkle that right where I sprinkled it before, right where that line is. I'm just gonna kinda give it a tiny bit of sparkle going just like right in this area right here. And my thought process behind that is that it's kind of like a reflection, like bubbles reflecting in the sun, that kind of thing. And, you know, more sparkle. It seems to go over well. This is a big seller for me. And I am not taking the credit for this by any means. I took several different um, people's tutorial. Like I said, um, I think Miss Chris Creation had one. Uh, Duncan Airbrush, Custom Airbrush had one. Sandy's Organized Chaos. And of course, Jessica Flynn, she had hers. But I kind of took so like I was saying I kind of took all of those tutorials and put them into one and took what I really liked out of some and what I really liked out of others and um, also what I could find you know um, I started making cups during the quarantine because I just got kind of <laughs> Uh, stuck at home and I just finally said, you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to just make cups. I have been watching videos for over a year and I've been dying to do it. And I just decided that I was going to get everything that I needed. But since it was quarantine, I could not get as much as I needed or everything that everybody else had, um, including masks and gloves and all kinds of stuff. So, um, I went through adversity and got through this, but I, you know, I just went to Michael's. I got what I could get from PTL of Glitters, um, and I just kind of did what I could, what what was available to me, and um, I really like the outcome, and it's a big seller, like I said, um, for me, so um, I'm not complaining about it at all it's just if you can't do it you can't do it through quarantine you can't make a cup through quarantine and get all this stuff then you can't do it at all right <laughs> i'm just kidding no my point is that you can make anything at any time if it's if, if it's what you need to do and what you want to do then um do it you know so that's that i'll come back and show you all the final last coat and we'll go from there Okay, so this is the final coat of epoxy here. Um, unfortunately, I'm going to have to work with my right hand because I've been doing other cups and I was using my right hand over there. So we're going to be in the shot a little bit too much today. Um, but I have stickered the bottom with, with my logo and some instructions. Um, I sanded the, the top here. I've sanded the edge. Of the bottom it gets kind of bumpy and then I applied the name and I also kind of this one was pretty smooth but there were some spots where I sanded it down um, and it just kind of felt along the cup and where I felt like there was a little bit I just sanded it down a little bit but all in all this was this turned out pretty good um, I'm gonna add my seashells this is my seashells here they are i add these these are like my little signature at the bottom um, i got those off of fairy tale glitter obviously and so anyways we're going to apply this coat and i'll show you how i drop the seashells 
into the sand right underneath their name. This has been sitting up, this epoxy has been sitting up for um, probably about 10 minutes or more. I had three other beach cups that I had to make, so I <laughs> let it sit while I glittered those. And as you can see, that's a long process. So we're going to get this nice and smooth and then we'll add those seashells and I'll show you how that works. So I just add them in the last coat so that they sit right on top of the sand so it looks like they are um, 3D on top of that sand. It really does um, show really well. It's it's really cute for them to be right there like that. This new, the one that I'm doing that I just glittered today, one of them, the lady wants the son's, the kids, she has a couple of kids and she wants the kids' names in the sand. And so I came up with the idea to get some letters. They have letter glitter on glittercraze.com and the letter glitter, I am going to put their initials. I'm going to put their first name initials on there. So it's going to be super cute. So that's an idea as well. Or if they really like sea turtles or something like that, or sharks, you could have a shark in there. Whatever. My idea is I, I come up with, a lot of times I come up with ideas and I think I can do that. Not a problem. And then when it comes to actually making it, <laughs> then I'm like, okay, I said I could do this, but how can I do this? In theory, it should work just fine. It should come out in theory, but sometimes I have to rethink. But this, is, this will work because, I mean, obviously I'm using these little glitter shells to put on here anyway. So the letter glitter should work just fine. I think that was better aesthetically than like putting their name, you know, like a full name or doing like vinyl or something. I think it would take away from the cup, from how pretty it is. So I'm just getting the bottom here. This turner is so slow. So I kind of, I'm like, did I get that side? <laughs> did I get it? So now I'm just gonna um, kind of pour a little bit on there. And just, this is the final coat. So I'm gonna make this nice and thick it's kind of it's see you can see my hand kind of dragging because it's a nice thick coat it's going to fill in all the little spots that you might have from the other ones it's going to cover this edge real nice and it's going to be a nice bed for our little seashells Okay, so I'm gonna let that, I'm gonna let this spin for a minute. I say that and I keep doing it. I always try to get this really smooth. I don't know, people say that it's self-leveling, so you don't have to worry about that, but I always feel like if I don't at least try to get it smooth, and I'm just counting completely on the epoxy and doing what it's supposed to do. And my control OCD just doesn't allow that. Okay, 
I will be right back. I'm going to let this spin. We'll be back, and then I'll show you how I drop the shells in there. Okay, I've been letting this spin for a few minutes, and I'm just kind of watching it to see if there's any kind of divots or any kind of crazy spots. And it looks pretty, pretty good. Um, I have these tweezers from 651 Vinyl. If it comes into view. Um, they're not the best tweezers, but I've also used them a lot. So, but uh, that beside the point, um, I use them to drop the um, the little seashells in, which I have over here on a little. So it's coming back around. I'm going to stop it and I'm going to pick up my seashell. Like, well, whatever. Ah! And look at that. Me trying to film this. So I'm going to drop one here. And I don't worry about what it, how they are angled or how they are. Um, and of course, I drop this on the floor. I just make sure they're face up, like, you know, the shiny side. So we need to get this spinning again. Okay. So I just drop those however they land. I don't worry. I, that's kind of like the way I feel, like however it lands is the way it should. But it will move whenever you put the epoxy on and it starts spinning. They will move um, ever so slightly in either direction. So this is when I am going to take whatever I have left here, and this is, I'm going to let it spin, and I just drizzle this over it. If it will ever come out. Yeah. <laughs> so then I kind of... I just kind of drizzle the rest of this in this area here, right over those and then over the name. I have no idea if this works. It seems to be a good last little moment. I'll do the edges because the edges are always really bumpy. I'll just take that last bit and I mean, this is the final coat, so the other coats may not have been so thick or so, um, so much, you know, so, but this one is like, and with those seashells, you need to have that, like, they need to kind of have a bunch over it so that they fall kind of in there. And then that's why I just do the edge. I guess, you know, if you do it a different way, then you could take it and do it your way or, um, if you think I'm completely nuts in doing this, feel free to comment <laughs> and tell me what I'm doing wrong, but it seems to work and I've sold a whole bunch of them and I haven't had any complaints. So, but like I said, this is the last coat, so it's going to be a lot thicker and sorry, I was doing that with my left hand so y'all couldn't see, but this does level out. It does actually level, like I said, I try to make it as level as possible, but um, it's inevitable for you to have some little flaws or some little divots or, um, you know, air bubbles that popped or something like that, but I just watch it. I watch the reflection and if I see something crazy in the reflection, then that in that moment, I'll, um, you know, move it around with my finger, but that's that. That is... That is the full beach cup. That is exactly what I do. It's everything that I do. Um, I'm pretty sure I did not leave a step out. 
if I did or if I was mistaken on something that I said, I will for sure, um, you know, add that somewhere. But that's that. Thanks for watching.